Let's start by opening the TIA portal project and switch to project view. In the project tree, expand the CPU menu item. Now double click device configuration. In device view, open the hardware catalog. The available devices show in the hardware catalog. Expand the device type required, a digital input in this example. Expand the listing. Then select the correct part number for the device to be inserted. Now drag the part number to the correct slot in the PLC rack. We can now collapse the digital input listing in the hardware catalog if we don't need another digital input module. You should insert other modules as required for the application, a digital output and analog input for this example. Now that the modules have been inserted, the input and output addresses can be configured to match the application. Start by clicking the device to be configured. Select the Properties tab in the Configuration window, expand the input listing, and click the I.O. addresses listing. Change the start addresses as required. In most cases, the address assigned by the system will be sufficient. Changes should only be made if necessary to meet the application needs. Press the Enter key. If the address is already being used or is invalid, an error message will pop up. You must change it to a valid address. Now press the Enter key. The new address is accepted. We'll now address the digital output module in the same manner. Let's configure the analog input module. Click the analog input module to select it. And in the configuration window, expand inputs and select channel 0. Scroll down to the Measuring Type selection. Expand the Measuring Type listing. And select the desired measuring type, Voltage in this example. Now expand Measuring Range. And select the required measuring range for the application. You can now configure other channels and addressing as required. Don't forget to save the project.